Dosing systems. Biological degradation of FOGs by means of bioadditives have been vigorously promoted. The stimulation of in situ bioremediation by adding nutrients such as oxygen or fertilizer to the environment is well known. However, this is not what bioadditives are about. There is no scientific evidence that FOGs can be readily converted into harmless CO2 and water in grease traps and sewer networks or that the discharge of FOGs from commercial premises can be reduced to less than 100 parts per million into the drainage system by the use of bioadditives. W.R. Jones presented a report carried out at the request of the USA Navy on the effectiveness of bioadditives at the 4th International Symposium of the International Society for Environmental Biotechnology held at Queen's University, Belfast, Northern Ireland in June 1998. Of over 100 bacterial strains screened, only Pseudomonas aeruginosa was effective in emulsifying by means of producing biosurfactants, an average of 74.8% of animal fats. Pseudomonas aeruginosa adversely affects human and aquatic health and was responsible in 2012 for the deaths of three babies in the Royal Victoria Hospital Belfast. It seems clear that this bacterium cannot be used in food service establishments. Adding enzymes or bacteria to move the problem of FOGs downstream breaches the European Directives on Integrated Pollution Prevention and Control. The precautionary principle in European community health and environmental law is ignored. Have any of these bioadditives been subjected to examination in accordance with the Environmental Impact Assessment Directive? The UK Water Industry Act 1991 sets out the determination of fluid categories on a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is wholesome water supplied from a mains water source and 5 represents a serious health hazard. Bioadditives are claimed to be harmless to humans, animals and plants, yet rated in the UK Water Industry Act 1991 as Fluid Category 4, the definition of which states that it represents a significant health hazard. The question must be asked as to why bioadditives are being added to the drainage system. There are already indigenous, naturally occurring, interdependent microbial communities found in drainage systems. They rely upon nutrients to affect microbiological and fungal catalysis of pollutants to remedy or eliminate environmental contamination. Testing of bioadditives is typically carried out in aerobic conditions, but every passive trap or GRU suffers from the oxygen being depleted in the water, giving rise to foul-smelling anaerobic conditions. Biological degradation of fats is not readily achievable under actual operating conditions found in grease traps and sewers, no matter what snake oil salesmen say. <laughs>